Well, today we're going to talk about some very specific, actionable principles that you can apply for your own life and business. Um, there's a guy by the name of Thomas Edison. He has the most patents in the U.S. history. And Thomas Edison is a guy that I studied growing up. And what Thomas Edison says is knowledge without application is meaningless. So basically, if we come here today and we have some great food, and we have some great dessert, and we don't learn anything, maybe it's meaningless. He comes to you with basic principles. Basic principles being, it's really great if you learn all this stuff, if you take notes, if you read these books, maybe even his book, but you've got to put them in practice. Implementation is the real key to success, not just ideas. Does that make sense? He's alive, he, he, he makes everything come to, come to real life, and the way he's able to incorporate the things that happen in his real life into, the, into what's going on in our world really, really made an impact on me. Without big, overwhelming, optimistic momentum. Big, overwhelming, optimistic momentum. If you approach every day with big, overwhelming, optimistic momentum, you can succeed, okay? But if you approach every day with like, well, it probably won't work, then you're right. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin says, many people die at the age of 25 and aren't buried until the age of 75. Maybe not you people, but other people. Back in the good old days, insurance used to be easy. Now people, they just go online and just, what in the world? Back in the good old days, people, Baseball used to be America's game. Well, <laughs> deal with it. The world is changing, right? So even though we might say in the good old days, what we want to do is we want to not be dead. We want to look forward to the future as though next year will be better than this past year. Does that make sense? He, uh, he, he put humor into the mix and they, you know, kept it light but kept it real. And that was, you know, you really got to put it in those terms. Somebody in this room, there might only be one person in this room that needs to hear this, but one person in this room believes you're not worthy of success. But I want you to know you have to be too dumb or too numb to fail. Does that make sense? 